Hello, hello, it's Brooke Sydney here, your favorite mindset and manifestation coach. And today we're talking about this type of affirmation where you're asking yourself questions called ask formations because it's going around the YouTube, it's going around the internet. I wanna answer your questions and tell you how you can make use of this type of affirmation. But before I do, I just wanna remind you there are two ways to work with me. Both ways are listed below, as well as two communities of like-minded individuals on this amazing manifestation journey. So first of all, today we're going to like break down this whole idea around ask affirmations or ask formations. Um, I'm hearing it being called that. Honestly, friends, this is nothing new. It's just another play on affirmations. But before we talk about ask formations, I just want to remind you what an affirmation is. An affirmation is simply a thought that you are deciding to repeat to yourself. You can use affirmations to replace current negative thoughts. You can use affirmations to transform you to living in the end, meaning bringing you into that state of mind or those thoughts that are associated with your wish fulfilled. Affirmations, some people say they're not techniques. I think that anything that you are using purposely to transform yourself or to get yourself into the feeling, to get yourself into the wish fulfilled or living in the end, I would call it some sort of a technique, but it doesn't really matter. An affirmation is simply a thought that you have decided intentionally and consciously, because we are consciously manifesting over here, an intentional and conscious way to think right? And if you continue thinking for a lot, it becomes your dominant way of thinking. And you'll know that it's going to manifest when it becomes your natural thought, okay? And one of the things I want to say before I move on to ask formations is that be careful about picking up somebody else's affirmations. Make sure you are finding thoughts essentially that resonate with you, that feel natural, that sound natural, and I feel like that feel good. Remember, we're using the thoughts to get to the feeling, to activate ourselves, to feel it as real. That is the point of it. And we are kind of, what's the word, immersing ourselves in these thoughts so that we can now develop the dominant way of thinking so that we can change our thoughts about something and that by changing our thoughts we activate the feeling we create a belief system that says that we have it and so essentially an ask formation is just another way of changing our thoughts or creating new thoughts we're essentially asking ourselves questions and the idea really behind it is some people think that it tricks you into thinking that you already have it right it kind of bypasses your subconscious thought process and it actually makes your subconscious search for it so your subconscious and your reticular activating system they essentially look for whatever that you are thinking about. That's why if you start getting ready to buy a new car and you start saying, I'm gonna buy a Ford Mustang, all of a sudden you start seeing more and more Ford Mustangs. Um, the same way that if you decide, hey, I'm gonna become a life coach, all of a sudden you start getting more information in front of you on your Facebook, in the mail, in the news about life coach. Your subconscious mind and your particular activating system start searching for information to confirm whatever it is you think about, especially think about all the time. So a lot of people believe that asking questions to yourself causes not only it to be easier for you to receive because maybe it hasn't happened in your 3D reality, but it allows for your subconscious to look for it and essentially make it true, right? So instead of saying, I am beautiful, you can say, why am I so beautiful? Why am I so pretty? Why is everyone always telling me I'm beautiful? Or instead of saying, I am in a healthy, committed relationship, why is my relationship so healthy? Like, why is everyone always talking about how healthy and committed my relationship is? Why does my man, my SP, love me so much? Why is he always calling my phone? Instead of being direct and saying, my SB always calls me, my SB is always on my phone, my SB is always texting me, you 
and essentially soften it. You kind of soften the approach instead of going head on to your subconscious, you go kind of the back door way. You decide to ask yourself questions. I'm going to say, I don't think the ask formations is a magic pill. I'm just going to be honest with you because I think that it depends on the person. It depends ultimately on you. If you feel silly asking yourself a question that you know you don't have the answer that you desire, is it really working? If you're asking yourself questions and you're not feeling better, is it really working? If you're asking yourself questions and it doesn't feel real, or transporting you to the end state, I would say go the direct route. Keep telling yourself what you have. To keep convincing yourself what you know you want to be true. And over time, it will become true. Or second option, mix it up. Try traditional affirmations or try ask formations. See what works, right? I always say try and then tweak and then pivot if necessary. But again, ask formations have no special power. Either does affirmations. You, you are the power. You are the God within. Your God within is the 4D. You and the 5D, God outside of ourselves, is creating with the God inside of ourselves. So you have the power. Again, affirmations are just Thoughts replacing thoughts. You're using your intentional thoughts to create new thought paradigms, new natural assumptions, new thoughts, new beliefs, new states, and ultimately new ways of transporting yourself so that you feel it is real, so that you know for certain that you have your SP, that you have more money, that you have a new job, that you have an amazing vacation, that you bought a new house, that you traveled around the world, whatever it is you desire, you feel it and know it is real and you are certain that you have it. And so the 3D has no choice but to conform and there my friends, you have your manifestation. So let me know all your ask formations and affirmation questions below. It is my hope that this video helped you. Make sure you're subscribed, like this video, and I will see you tomorrow.